Okay, now I'm going to show you how to create fade in and fade out using GarageBand. It's very easy. Make sure your track is selected, and then underneath male voice or female voice, whatever track that you chose to use, you will see the red circle, which indicates recording. Also, next to that will be mute or unmute the track. Next to that will be solo or unsolo the track. Next to that will be a lock. And next to that, is the option to view hide automation. We want the view hide automation one and we, it looks like a little triangle pointing down. Click that and you're going to see track volume. We need to turn on the track volume and in order to do that you're going to click the little square next to the T in the word track. It's going to turn blue and you will notice that your track now has a blue line. This blue line indicates the volume for this track. Well, What we're going to do is we're going to change the volume in certain spots so it starts quiet and then fades in and then also it's going to go from the regular volume back to fading out all the way to quiet. So here's how we do that. On this blue line you will notice that there's a half of a circle right here at the beginning and if you click anywhere in the blue line you will also get circles that show up. The first blue line, excuse me, the first blue dot we need to drop down and make quiet because we want the, the volume to fade up from quiet to a comfortable level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this circle and drag it down. Looks like we got an extra one here. There we go. Once you drag that circle down, the line moves down with it indicating that when the playhead goes through it's going to increase in volume. So what you need to do is you need to play around with this and see if you want a longer drawn out fade in or a quick fade in. And you can test this over and over again until you get it how you want it. Now, fade outs work the same way. They need a dot for the regular volume level and then a dot at the end to be down to nothing so it fades from the regular volume level out to nothing. And you can do the same thing. Move it left and right to determine if you want a long drawn out fade out or a quick fade out. And that's it. That's how you do fade in and fade out.